visiting this place called Gleanings for the Hungry. And in fact, here comes a truck that's pulling in right now. What they do with the food is they give it to the hungry. So this is the kitchen at, uh, where they prepare the, prepare the food for the workers and the local people here. This whole area would be full of people. Right now, all these people are out working. I think my wife is working at the soup plant today, so we'll get some video of the soup plant. This is uh, pallets of uh, raw product that they use to go in the soup. So there's noodles, and then there's potatoes, and then there's what they call mix. And you can see how it comes out. They just pick it up here, and then it goes up into the large area machine there. And then after it's mixed, stand by for soup. This is our head seasoner right here. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You're getting the bags ready? Yeah. The, bag the bag ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so they put the season mix in it before it goes over. And then the last thing that they do is you'll notice that those big drums, the big containers come over here. And then they kind of scoop it up, pour it in the bags and seal it. And these people pack it tightly in a case. And then this gentleman takes the cases, I think, and puts the top on them and puts them away and they're ready to go out the door. They have wooden flats that cover this entire field. And starting in the month of uh, April and May, they begin to receive fruit. People bring them fruit, mostly peaches, I guess. They cut the fruit, they have a processing plant that they cut the fruit at and uh, take the seeds out. And then they lay it skin side down on these, uh, on these flats. And the fruit stays out on the, on these, out in this field for about three days. In the, in the winter, north end of the plant is working and the north end of the, the, area of the grounds is where they do the soup, the soup. And then in the summer, south end of the plant is where they're busy. And that's where they're doing the fruit, getting ready to dry the fruit. Ah, okay. oh, they're quilting today. Really? Here's a professional ironing person right over here. And a professional sewing person over here. And this is where the precision work is done right here. Oh, we're cutting in hours long. Okay. Stop. And then when you get what you want, oh, okay, they just got to, that's like flannel graph. I remember that when I was a kid. And am I right? Last year, y'all, they did over 300 quilts. So your job here is kind of the all-in-all repairman, grinder guy, welder, whatever. My job for the week that I'm here, I'm just trying to do something useful.